It does the body good. Thank you, George Washington Carver. Anywho, that was some drumming. <laughs> um, that's how I entertain Mr. God. <clears throat> I also entertain Mr. God by telling the truth. And the truth is hard. Um, if you dox me at because if you haven't doxed me and put my name into your Google search engine, you won't find out that I'm a sex offender. You guys can dox really good. Uh, wonderful. Um, and that right there usually puts people off. You know? They, they don't uh, question why or how or when it was. They go, oh, sex offender, bad. Kill the vile people. I'm like, well, I ain't vile. Like, oh, but you were convicted of some vileness. And I'm sitting there going, huh, that is true. You know, when I was 22, I was not the same person as I am today. I made a lot of mistakes. Hell, I keep making mistakes. Uh, but that's not, <laughs> that's not the issue. The issue is I try to change those mistakes and be a better person. And um, if you've ever been in sex offender therapy for three years, every Saturday uh, with some vile people then um, you know have you, have you ever been uh, locked up the lie detector test where they ask you if you fuck dogs or fuck babies or, or did all kinds of vile despicable acts with object penetration and a whole bunch of other crap have you done that no you haven't then shut the fuck up because there are some vile people out in the world that aren't going to admit to their mistakes cardinal knowledge that's what I got for you know I, I had uh consensual not able to be considered because of age relations uh, uh, situation which is a little bit different than uh, stalking raping taking advantage or uh, yeah to be honest like knowing something's wrong and doing it anyway just because um, you know somebody did it to you um, and they didn't get caught or whatnot is bad you know, knowing the right thing and doing the wrong thing is vile. Um, so, that has been put aside, however, because, good Lord, I know the situation. And I talked to the person that I offended uh, before I even went to three years in prison. Oh, that's fun. You ever go to prison <laughs> for getting a, um, a BJ or and... Um, it has to be lumped in there with um, the people that have sex with their daughters. Now, some people are like, you know, vileness is vile. Like, straight up. Um, I have come to learn that people kill kids and eat them. And that there's a lot worse things to be worried about than me. And, uh, oh, did I mention that I was the first person in the state of Virginia to ever be released on unsupervised uh, probation and to finish that 15 years of probation like the first person ever in Virginia to be trusted with that type of thing me motherfucker it, it's not you know I uh, if you gotta you gotta look at the silver lining somewhere like gotta lower man like you ever been afraid um, to, to uh, go in a store you know you, you ever been uh paranoid about everything and everybody around you you ever um because of this mistake that you paid for and you know lord knows i paid for that shit um like be constantly uh reminded of your past mistakes um uh, by people that just find out about them you know it's kind of but anyway long story short no it ain't a long story short it's gonna be uh this is for all my new subscribers that don't know that I'm a sex offender. That is what I am. I would like to get off of this thing because originally I was nonviolent. And I was, uh, at, at 10 years, I, I could have petitioned the court and got off. But uh, during the Obama administration or whatnot, they changed the laws and made me a violent sex offender, which means that I have to register every four months, every, you know, every four months for the rest of my life, have, maintain a residence, um, and uh basically 
I'm probably surveilled all the time. Whilst on the internet, I mean, hell, I have an FBI number. When I uh, went crazy, uh, oh, they're going to talk about going crazy, too. Um, I went crazy searching up on the internet all the red pills uh, back in the day. And, um, yeah, and uh, I had a mental breakdown. Uh, mm, that wasn't so pleasant. <laughs> and I got locked up in a mental, uh, maximum state, central state maximum security mental hospital. Now, the last place you want to be after doing time to get out of jail and prison, you know, is uh, finding yourself there of uh, what is not your own accord. And there I was. And um, that sucks. <laughs> uh, not guilty by reason of insanity. Wonderful. Like that right there is really going to help me. <laughs> anyway, long story short on that one. I uh, go to the mental hospital. Like, you, you ever try to get out of a maximum security mental hospital? You ever been there with people that um, are far worse off than you and hear all the yelling and screaming and there's violence and there's... Whew, some people are worse off in their mental health than other people. However, there ain't something right with everybody all the time. And you can learn from people that you call crazy. I just figure you should know that. People you're calling schizo and, and crazy and dismissing them, um, maybe they're on like another wavelength, and you shouldn't just dismiss them. Now, I've done said some things that I've said before in my other videos, and I was going to call Bellagio Sample Man up and be like, hey, you want to uh, do a show where you ask a sex offender who's been through the rigmarole of um, that, like the whole shebang and came out not necessarily on top, but still alive? That's important. Uh, yeah, like Bellagio Sample Man, you want to interview somebody that uh, has been through the mental health system, like maximum security type, and um, came out relatively on top, kind of? <laughs> Uh, but, yeah, I'll just make this a video. You know, well, why support his channel when you can support me? Um, link is in the description. I, I don't have any, uh, you, you can't PayPal me anymore. You can't, you can, yeah. Uh, this is all for free. Um, I started this a while ago. My campaign for righteousness and justice for RC and, and trying to maintain a, um, a somewhat stable living environment because of family issues. Um, oh, has it changed? Now, you might be thinking I'm rambling. However, that is true, but we're going to keep going on with this because I'm not going to do this in another take. This is, uh, I've got a smile on my face about it. Unlike last time when uh, I was going through some mania and I, I, I like Terry Davis, I admitted my sins and faults on the internet to the world because that's what you can do because <laughs> Terry taught me that hey that's what you can do tell everybody about it then what they got to use against you huh yeah I mean it, like a lot of little internet flutes around there like go and, and try to uh, take the you know take the speck out of my eyeball when you got a fucking plank in yours it's the truth like judge not let you be judge yourself right well, for some people it's right. Other people, they don't read the Bible and, and they, eh, they could care less. It's all about um, what truther is doing the most truthing and how many subscribers you got on your truther channel to boost those truther ratings up, even if those truthers are Zionist shills, you know, propped up by Soros, propped up by what, Infowars? I I'm talking to the, the Spirit has told me to say, um, Infowars, like if you're on the side of wrong, pretending to do right, then you're not doing shit but wasting everybody's fucking time. Argue that. If I'm telling you a half fucking truth, then I'm not telling you the fucking truth. If I'm lying to you, then I'm lying to myself. I'm lying before God, and I'm going to go to hell. And I'm not about going to hell for no motherfucker. I've paid my dues. I've done my time. As far well, not on this earth. Oh, there's a lot more time for me on this earth. Cause I'm not committing suicide. Uh-uh. 
Like, I, I face a lot of God darn problems. <laughs> but uh, the trolls all get me down because there are malicious trolls out there. You know, there, there are. But there's also people that aren't self-aware that they're being an asshole. Uh, and some people are asshole and they go be an asshole all their lives without reflecting in and going, maybe it was me. Maybe I'm the asshole. They don't do that. The only thing I have is I am different because I do that. And I have autism. Thank you, KKFC, for um, helping me cure my autism. But I'm not sticking my winky in no uh, pool jet. There's got to be a better way. Or I can live with my autism. Now, think about what happened before, you know, in my life and my inability to communicate in high school and with people around me and uh, being stunted sexually because I was taught that um, if I touch my pee-pee, I go to hell, you know, that sex is saved for marriage, which was a good idea. And, um, you know, a Baptist upbringing and me going to church trying to find the truth in a world full of degeneracy, trying to be an upright standing kiddo in a world full of the devil. Now, the devil is tempting. Do I like big booties? I cannot lie. I, I do. You know, and that is my lustful sin. I, I like women. Oh, and that's another thing. Um, I've said before that I was bisexual. Oh, that's going to be a shock. Oh, no. I can tell you about that because I lived it. Am I bisexual at this moment? No. Am I asexual at this moment? Yeah, kind of, because I don't care about sex anymore. It's lost its appeal. I mean, when you've had your MySpace taken away, and, uh, like, you have to throw away all your pornography uh, because you became a sex offender, and you have to go to meetings, you kind of get a warped sense of reality as far as sex is concerned. Like, turn the once Christian kid into a once, like, a fucked up individual. And I blame certain people that made the propaganda. Now, who made the who owns who owns uh, the most printing presses and uh, who owns the most media and who puts out the most pornography? I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe the toucan knows because Lord knows they got a big ass nose, and I'm pretty sure that two percent of the population and that if there was a roller coaster, it should probably go into a coincidence brick oven. Amen. Amen. Now, are they the only vile people? Oh, hell no. Uh, they're not the only vile people. There are people that go along with these vile schemes that are, by accomplices and not doing the right thing, super vile. You know, I can't imagine, to be honest with you, looking at little kids and going, oh, this is what I want to do with my life. That was not me. So, I have been around those people in these meetings, and I've seen these tweets and these weird pictures regarding Pizzagate. Now, Lord knows, I did not research that because with my background, that's a one-way ticket to fucking prison. Like, I ain't going back. Mm -mm. So, exposing the vileness is the right fucking thing to do. And that's what I think I'm doing. Am I really doing anything by telling my story and testimony? I fucking hope so. And why am I cursing when I, I should be calmed down? Well, Ricky, you're a cursing. You need to you need to calm it down with the cursing. Well, uh, and it's true. The Alpha Mare said it the best. God is perfect. That's right. Alpha Mare said it the best. God is perfectly just. Good enough. Um, however, God works on His own times. And without the Alpha Mare to actually uh, be here to, to help me and, and lead me and what to do and what not to do, I've got to go with the spirit of the Alpha Mare, which is Terry Davis. I'm a warrior and injured monk for the Lord. What does that entail? That entails doing the right things for the right reasons, not bowing down to any fucking vile people. And, um, yeah. <laughs> That's basically it. I mean, I love Terry. Now, you know, what's Terry have to do with this, right? Well, he also mentioned that they uh, they entrap you with uh, child 
sex fantasies is what he liked to say. He says, uh, like FBI agents, the CIA agents were around him and they tried to get him in a uh, pedophilia type thing and he teach the kids how to pull the trigger. Now, Terry was right. If you look at uh, Epstein Island or, or what, you know, Ep and they, the blackmail they used to put people in predicaments uh, to blackmail them, you know what I mean. And that is all true. It's coming out, you know, that that is true. That's bad, you know. I mean, uh, I don't really know where to go with that situation except for child sex response. That's what Terry said. That, that That's the word to use. And he said uh, he'll teach them how to pull the trigger. Now, that right there was classic. He also says, uh, you're the blackest gorilla monkey I've ever seen, which is also a truth to those CIA glowers. Now, you know who you are. He took out one for the good guy. Now he's taking out good. Uh, he's taking out a whole bunch of them. Well, he can't do it. He's in heaven now. Terry Davis is in heaven. So I'm guessing he's probably listening to EZO and, and rocking out with Mr. God, which is something I can't wait to do. However, I don't want to do it right now, except for I am going to rock out with Mr. God right now, because Lord knows, man, I'm also going to roll a cigarette for Terry and take a breath, because it's going to be a long upload. I'm going to lose subscribers for this. Trust me. Trust me. I know. I met a sex offender before I was a sex offender. Found out he was a sex offender. I was like, well, what'd you do? He's like, oh, I had sex with my daughter. I'm like, I don't want to hang out with this dude. Uh-uh. That's kind of fucked up. This is the internet. You can hang out with me if you want. I don't care. You can subscribe to me if you want. But I am what I am. I did what I did. And ain't no mistakes about it. I'm going to tell you about it. Because if I don't, you know somebody else is. That's what they do. It doesn't really matter. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. I'm not a vile person. I'm anti-vile person. I proved it. First person in the state of Virginia to prove it, too, by the way. Which I am kind of proud of. Because <laughs> Lord knows. He, I was locked up in a 23-1 maximum uh, security prison when Chris Hansen was a thing that came on TV. <laughs> I was like, oh, and, and, uh, a special victims unit, uh, SVU, was on. You, you, you ever been in prison as a sex offender <laughs> when a sex offender show is coming on and the next thing you know, they say you can't have a Facebook and they take your MySpace because... Uh, you know, they, when I was going, they said, um, you know, they took my space and was like, no, fuck you. And they said, all the sex offenders are moving over to Facebook. And in 10 short years, it ain't no secret anymore. We got drag, oh, drag Zillas doing storybook time and LGBTQ plus barbecue shit going on. Um, have you ever met a drag queen? The caddy. Oh, but back to that. Yeah, I used to be a male stripper too. For gay people. In a gay club. That, that's vile, uh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but people are people. I usually don't go down with the side of my, you know, cause, you know, being a side of my, myself at one point. Um, I think that's wrong. However, there are good people on each side of the fence. Now, the drag queen situation, uh, the, the ones that I, I met, the, the, they didn't have a surgery. It was, it was no tranny type thing going on at the time. There were just people that had different bone structures and people that could pass or not pass. And, um, like, and the ones that couldn't pass, or, or the older ones, were getting jealous of the newer ones because there are these things called hormone blockers or, or some shit going on. And now, like, I get in trouble for a, a consent situation. And in this day and age, they're saying four-year-olds can consent to becoming a different gender. Biologically, that's playing with God. You know it. It's the truth. 
And there's only one God. And you're hard to entertain him. I don't think God's entertained by all this uh, degeneracy. And they call everybody Nazis. Anything I don't agree with is a Nazi. Well, if if there was experimentations done on people or whatnot, I, I don't know. I'm not a Naziologist. You know, hell, I don't even think Nazis are a real fucking word. You know, Ashkenazi. Uh, that, that's probably a word. I'm going on a tangent. This is going to take forever to upload. And am I going to regret it? No. I have no regret. I do what I do, and I am what I am. I'm not paid by anybody to do what I do. I dox myself, and I'm proud of it. This <laughs> God laid this on my heart to do this. Did I want to do this? No. Did I want to do this again? No. The first time I did this, I was crying. Shout out to Dad Farts. But, you know, why? Because uh, he mentioned that video. Bellagio was like, we want to focus on Ricky's artistic stuff and not that side. Which I commend Bellagio for. That and Terry Davis. He, he's uh, sticking his neck out to do some things, you know? And I believe in it. I may be wrong about it, but at this point in time, nah. I'm I'm going with it. Even if I'm wrong about the situation, and I'm wrong about like most of the stuff I say, uh, as far as uh, who I can trust and who I can't trust, you got to start trusting in somebody. Sometimes, you know, I can't just live in paranoia that everybody's out to get me all the time, or else. I'm never going to fucking move on up. You know what I mean? Hell, I'm never going to clean my room. Shit. That might be true, unfortunately. Uh. I don't know what comfortable silence is. But sometimes you got to take time to ruminate on the fact that you got to be quiet sometimes. <laughs> I can't be running off at the mouth all the time. Well, has God uh, put anything else? Is there anything else in my testimonial um, that I need to say at the moment? No, I don't think there is. Uh, so, we're going to go do a uh, drum tribute, entertain Mr. God, brand the Bible passage, and then we're going to end this. First, we got to get funky with the bill. Peanuts on a railroad track, the top was all butter. Along came a tooth to a knock him to now he's peanut butter. Long live Terry Davis. The only nut I trust, long live Perry Davis, in God we must tell the truth, tell the truth, cause with God on your side, you always doing right, if he is with you, who can be against you, not the vile people. Mr. God. We're always going back to Sir Rock. Maybe it's because it's in the middle of the Bible. But we got um, Sir Rock 15. Uh, yeah, Sir Rock 15, verse 20. He has not commanded anyone to be wicked. And he has not given anyone permission to sin. Mr. God is on time and ahead of time. And he probably operates on two megs. So, uh, 
if you've enjoyed this, feel free to leave a hate-filled comment and uh, unsubscribe. Or if you, um, you know, don't want to hate and you want to congratulate, then leave a happy comment. The choice is yours. Do what's right for the right reasons. And you'll never be wrong. Uh, take it easy, ninjas. I love you all.